Hi, my name is Brandon here with Hydroflex Inc. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to install a Ripsaw Rotating Turbo Nozzle Repair Kit. Before we get started, you will need to know a few things. When ordering your repair kit, you will need to order the same nozzle size repair kit as your nozzle. The nozzle size can be found on the end cap, laser engraved. This one is a number 6.0. So we know we have to order up a number 6.0 nozzle repair kit. When you get your repair kit, make sure that the nozzle size does match because the internal parts are not interchangeable. Before you get started, you will also need a few tools for this. We will need an adjustable wrench capable of opening at least an inch and a half, a channel locks, small needle nose pliers, small flathead screwdriver, as well as a Phillips screwdriver. Now I'm going to quickly take you through what will come inside your repair kit. You will be given a nice little instruction sheet telling you how to install this repair kit. You'll be getting a new rubber boot, new o-ring for the end cap, a new rotor, a new seat, new dome screen, and a new top insert. Now we're ready to take apart our nozzle. We can do this by grabbing onto our channel locks and simply just unthreading the end cap. We can take this, we can screw this off. We'll set the nozzle housing aside for right now. Next we're going to take out the inlet screen. To do this you can take your flathead screwdriver and just pry a little bit away on the sides then grab your needle nose pliers, take the old screen, toss that away. We can also take off this o-ring on the end cap. To do this you can use just a little flathead screwdriver to pry it off and toss that away. Next we're going to take out all the parts to the nozzle. So we'll take out the old top insert which can be thrown, take out the old rotor which can be thrown, pull out the old rubber boot which we can also toss, then you'll need to grab your Phillips head screwdriver just to push in on the nozzle just so we can pop out the seat. Then we can toss that away. Now that we have our nozzle all taken apart, we can start putting it back together. We're going to start by grabbing our seat, making sure that the o-ring side is down and the shiny side is up. Simply just drop that in there, push it into place. Next we can grab our rubber boot. Just drop that in, slide it down, make sure it sits firmly. And then we can grab our rotor, make sure that the nozzle side is pointing down. Then we can take our top insert, we can put that in, making sure that the smaller ID with the little lip is facing upwards. And then simply just drop that in. Now we can grab our new O-ring, put that on our end cap. And then when you are putting this nozzle back together, the common misperception is that the end of this rotor has to sit on this little metal point here, which we like to call a Geppetto. This is not the case. Make sure when you are putting your end cap back onto your nozzle to have the nozzle sitting at a little bit of angle so that the rotor sits on the side. And we can simply just thread that back on, grab our channel locks here, and our adjustable wrench. We give that a little tighten, snug that down. Then all we have left to do is just put the screen in. Simply just drop it in. Grab either your screwdriver or pliers and just push it down in there firmly. And it's as simple as that. If you do have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 952-808-3640 or visit our website at www.hydroflexinc.com. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.